Hello, Year 7, y bienvenidos a la segunda clase de español. So, welcome back. This is our second class of Spanish this week. So, we are continuing with our topic, ¿Tienes hermanos? Do you have any brothers or sisters? So, please write the title, ¿Tienes hermanos? in your books now, underline it, and also write the date in Spanish. And you can write class two as well if it helps you. So, our lesson aimed for this week, we're continuing Um, from the ones that I gave you last lesson. So we were understanding vocabulary about siblings, memorizing possessive adjectives, and looking at the verb llamarse, which we'll be looking at today. Remember that beautiful y for the double L, llamarse. We'll apply the vocabulary learned by writing a paragraph in our next class, and evaluate and set targets on how to improve that. So your starter task, I would like you to correctly match up the English with the Spanish and you need to write both of them in your books. So just as the last lesson, please pause this video, pause me um, as and when I tell you so that you can do the activity. So you can see there the list in English, my sister, my sisters, your brother, your brothers, his sister and her brothers and all of the Spanish are in the orange so you need to match them up. There's also a challenge activity Can you explain what me, mis, and tu, and tus, and su, and sus mean, and why they change? Okay, so that's a bit of an extension, a bit of a challenge activity. So pause me now, and please write that in your books. Well done. Hopefully you've done that now. So these are your answers. So my sister, mi hermana, my sisters, mis hermanas, Your brother, tu hermano, your brothers, tus hermanos, his sister, su hermana, her brothers, sus hermanos. Okay, and the answer to the challenge is me, mis, tu, tus, su, and sus are the words for my, your, his, and hers. And they change if the noun is plural. So in English, we say my sister, and we only add an S after if it's plural, so if you're talking about my sisters. And I'll touch on that a little bit more in a moment. So moving on, so our today's class, what does it look like? We're going to look immediately at a grammar point on possessive adjectives. We're going to look at the vocabulary on how to name your brothers or sisters, your siblings. We're going to look at the grammar point, the verb llamarse, to be called. Have a little bit of practice on that and then a window just to end the class. So, the grammar rules, possessive adjectives. So please just listen to me whilst I explain this. So in Spanish, the words for my, your, his and her change according to whether the noun they describe is singular or plural. So you can see in the table there, my, my sister, for example, just if you've just got one sister, is mi hermana. If you had two sisters, for example, though, it would change to mis hermanas because that would be plural. So not only do you add an S on the end, you also have to change the possessive adjective to agree. It's a little bit more tricky than it is in English, but hopefully that explains it. So what I would like you to do is pause this video, and I'd like you to make an accurate and beautiful note of that grammar rule in your books. If you finish that quite quickly, and you think, oh, I'd really like a bit more practice, there's an extension task there. You can write a list of items that are in your pencil case. So that's revising what we did last term. You can include some plurals. So an example would be mi lapis, mis gomas, mis bolis, for example, or tus gomas, or tu lapis, if you're talking about somebody else's. So pause me and make a note of that in your books. Excellent, well done. Thank you for doing that. So let's have a little bit of a practice on that. I'd like you to look at those five Uh, questions really and choose which is the correct possessive adjective and write those and write the answers in your book. So for example number one mi or mis hermana which is the correct is it mi hermana or is it mis hermana. So hopefully you'll see from that the hermana is singular so it would therefore be oops it would therefore be me. Okay, so pause this video and you can complete that now in your books. Well done. 
So hopefully you have managed to do that and it's not been too challenging for you. So these are the answers. Number two is tu. Number three is mis because it's hermanas. Number four, it's sus because it's hermanos. And then the last one is tus because it's hermanas. And sorry, that's actually out of five, not out of six. So a bit of a teacher error there. Sorry about that. So please give yourself a mark out of five. Hopefully you've been able to do that. And the extension task was to translate to English. So that would be my sister, your brother, my sisters, his or her brothers, and your sisters. Okay. Right, so we're just going to revise now some vocabulary on, on siblings, but how to, in, how to say what your brother's or sister's name is. So you'll recall this slide from last class. We had, tienes hermanos? Do you have a brother or a sister? And you reply, sí, tengo un hermano. But we're going to extend ourselves now. We're going to say, tengo un hermano, I've got a brother, se llama John. Okay, so you can pause me back to, remember that little icon in the top right-hand corner? This is your opportunity to practice. So I will say it, then please pause, and then you practice saying it at home. Tengo un hermano, se llama John. Pause me, practice now. Muy bien. Next one, ¿tienes hermanos? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Tengo una hermana, se llama Jane. I have a sister, her name is Jane. So pause me and try that in Spanish. Well done. Next one, ¿tienes hermanos? Tengo un hermano y una hermana. Se llaman John y Jane. So hopefully you've seen the difference there. You can see when it was just one person, it was llama. When you're talking about more than one, this se llama turns to se llaman John y Jane. Okay, so I'll say that once more. Tengo un hermano y una hermana. Se llaman John y Jane. So practice that now. Muy bien. So the next one, tengo dos hermanos. Se llaman John y Thomas. I've got two brothers. They are called John and Thomas. I'll just save that for you once more. Tengo dos hermanos. Se llaman John y Thomas. So pause me and repeat. Excelente. Remember, it's this just an opportunity to practice the most beautiful Spanish you can. Muy bien, seguimos. Tengo dos hermanas. Se llaman Jane y Jenny. Muy bien. And that means I've got two sisters. They are called Jane and Jenny. And finally, this big long one. ¿Tienes hermanos? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Tengo cuatro hermanos. Dos hermanos y dos hermanas. Mis hermanos se llaman John y Thomas. Y mis hermanas se llaman Jane <coughs> y Jenny. So that is, yes, I have four brothers and sisters, two brothers and two sisters. My brothers are called John and Thomas, and my sisters are called Jane and Jenny. Okay, so pause me now and have a go pronouncing that. Well done. So we'll now move on to the grammar point on the verb llamarse. So the verb llamarse means to be called. And you can see here how it's conjugated. So I, once again, I'll say it. I'd like you to pause me and repeat. Me llamo. Te llamas. Se llama. Nos llamamos. Os llamáis. And se llaman. Okay. So hopefully you can practice that. Remember that double L is pronounced as a Y. So that broken down means me llamo. I am called. Te llamas, you are called. Se llama, he or she is called. Nos llamamos, we are called. Os llamáis, you, plural, are called. And se llaman, they are called. Sometimes you might want to, you might want to, if someone asks you the question, ¿Tienes hermanos? You might want to say, sí, for example, tengo una hermana. Then you might pause and say, mi hermana se llama Jane, for example. I have a sister, my sister is called Jane. Or another way of doing it is if you want to say, I have a sister who is called Jane, 
you need to add the que. You can see that at the bottom in the screen. So, for example, you might say, Si, tengo una hermana que se llama Jane. I have a sister who is called Jane. And there's another example there. So I'd like you now to please pause this video and write down that verb. So you need to copy the table and write down all of that conjugated verb and the answers there. Well done. Excellent. So moving on, just one little bit of practice. Okay, so let's practice using the verb llamarse. I would like you to translate the following and write them in your books. Okay, so I think it's always a good idea to write it as it is and then write the translation next to it. So I would like you to do that now, please. You can pause me and complete that. There's also an extension activity. So if you really want to push yourself, you love Spanish as I hope most of you do, and you want to challenge yourself, push yourself and do that extension task as well. So pause me and complete that now. Excellent, well done. So here are the answers. So if you take a different color pen, then you can mark your work and I can see, or your teacher can see how you've done. So these are the translations. Um, I have a brother and a sister. My brother is called Harry and my sister's called Amelia. And then number two, I don't have brothers or sisters. I'm an only child. Or number th and number three, tengo un hermano. Mi hermano se llama Leo. Number four, and this is what I was talking about, this abbreviation almost. Tengo una hermana que se llama Megan. I have a sister who is called Megan. And the last one, tengo dos hermanos que se llaman Lucas y Josh. So I have two brothers who are called Lucas and Josh. And finally, the extension would be to add their ages. So remember to add an age, you use tener. So for example, say you were adding on to number three, tengo un hermano, mi hermano se llama Leo. You might also add tiene siete años, for example, if he was seven years old. Excellent, well done. That was quite hard work doing that, so well done. So finally, just to end, I'd like you to imagine you're Bart Simpson again. Introduce yourself and say how many brothers and sisters you have and give their names. So once again, pause me and you can write that in your box. So this is the answer. You would say, hola, soy Bart Simpson. Tengo dos hermanas. Mis hermanas se llaman Lisa y Maggie. No tengo hermanos. Simply in Spanish in the negative, lots of you who have been as your teacher, we sing a song about the negative. The negative goes before the verb. So no tengo hermanos. I don't have any brothers. Muy bien. So that brings us to the end of the class. Please now, just two more things to do. Write down what you have learned today. Again, just a summary in your own words, what you've learned. Please also take a photo of your exercise book and upload it to Google Classroom for your teacher to look at your work. Okay, so muchas gracias y hasta la próxima clase. Adiós.